This is Garuda Linux XFCE edition. It features the XFCE desktop. So this is it. It's um kind of scaled. The UI is kind of scaled down. I'm not going to scale it up for this video, but yeah, basically a standard XFCE desktop. It's been around for a long time. Historically, it's been more a more lightweight desktop. These days, it's a little heavier than it should be. It isn't as flashy or feature rich as KDE or GNOME, but it can be made to look. Uh, it can be made to look nice. Um, you know, as you see here, this is a pretty reason has a pretty reasonable looking theme here, and it, it's pretty nice. It doesn't have all the same effects. You can you could probably enable more effects if you want to. See, it doesn't do like a nice animation or whatever when you minimize things, but it's it's fast. I, I can say that it responds very quickly. Doesn't no no hint of lag or anything, and it's very nice. Let, let's check the RAM really quick here. So yeah, RAM usage, we're using like 1.5 gigs. That, that's pretty good, right? That, that's pretty light on RAM these days. Um, you know, it used to be, uh, you used to be a whole lot less back in the olden days, but these days that that's pretty decent, right? So has regular uh, XFCE stuff, the things you would expect with an, an XFCE system. So go, we're using Thunder right here and we are using Terminal. And which one is this? This is XFCE4 terminal. So you yeah, had the XFCE terminal emulator. One, one thing, oh, and uh, again, we have Echo. We're using Fish as our main shell. Whoops. Fish. So, no, we're not. You know what? That That's interesting. So the other editions are using Fish as the default shell. Uh, Looks like XFCE is using Bash as the default shell. Um, do we have Fish installed? Yes, we have the we have the Fish shell. So we have the Fish shell installed, but it is Bash by default. And one thing I I actually I always thought like equal spaced fonts like this would be nice, but this actually actually kind of looks terrible. So let's zoom this in a little bit. Yeah, see, like if you do LS like this, see there, well, first off, besides being equal spaced, the spaces between characters are really large. Like there's no space between these letters. Um, an actual space would be more like three spaces like this, but each letter has a space between it. That That's, that's way too much space. And also them being equal, distance based is I don't know I just don't like the font it looks so much better on, on both gnome terminal console and every other terminal I've ever seen anyways um just don't like the settings here I don't not sure if that's a default for XFCE or just the way they made this edition uh, other than that I mean it has standard stuff you get the bar at the bottom here um, comes with Firefox by default right comes with this uh, nice menu with a custom icon and stuff for Garuda Linux. You get all, all your standard stuff if we go under accessories here. It comes with um, mouse pad by default and it is right here. So this is their, this is like, it's mouse pad. It's like the equi the uh, equivalent of G-Edit, um, but it's a lightweight text editor for XFCE. So there you go. And one other thing to point out is that we're using Xorg or uh, you know X Windows rather than Wayland. So XFCE, it's a you know it's an X Windows desktop, and um, we're we're using X Windows on here. The other ones, most of the others are going to be using not all of the other editions, but most of the others are using Wayland. Th this one's using X11, and I, I think the others let you choose Wayland or or X Windows. But anyways, yeah, this this is it. This is the this is a uh, Garuda Linux XFCE edition, pretty standard stuff. It has the Garuda Linux customizations and stuff, their themes, all that nice stuff, but it's basically really simple, basically arch-based um, XFCE desktop, basically an arch-based desktop with XFCE installed by default and the Garuda Linux tools thrown on there and their custom theming. And that, that this is what you get. Pretty nice if you want something simple, lightweight, and uh, really straightforward and you can customize this more if you want i feel like i, I should take a look at this a little bit so let, let's take a look at settings all right appearance uh all right so we have a couple themes here i don't i don't think we like that's a light theme i guess dark uh yeah i i, I don't think i want any of that what what else do we have uh, i'm not going to look at a ton of settings but i feel like i should look at some 
So that's appearance, not a ton. Of, I mean, you could add more themes if you want. That's just what's there by default. And you know, you have your display, your desktop. I'll, I'll show you wallpaper as well. All right, the panel. I, I, I think this is one I'd like to show you how you can customize this. Um, I'm gonna move these out of the way for now. All right, lock panel. All right, what does this do? Um, okay, so you can edit the panel when you unlock it, I guess. Mode horizontal. You can make it vertical if you want, but not, not all the words don't quite line up right, but they're, they're vertical. That's kind of interesting. Exactly how XFCE was years ago when I was last using it. Um, okay, desk bar. All right, this is a little bit nicer. Like it, it doesn't put the text there. Um, that's nice. I'm going to keep it horizontal for now. Remove Reserve space on the edges of the screen for the, pan the panel. Okay, um, automatically hide if you want. Uh, measurements I mean we, we could make it bigger so you can see it better um, you can also there is GUI scaling I found it gets a little blurry all right so look, look at how the the windows the run this is your running programs down here they kind of stack um this is so you have your launcher icons and then your running programs down here very different if you've gotten used to like modern um, not modern gnome or other desktops the way people do things on mac os windows these days and all that stuff this is more of a traditional way of doing things and a lot of people like this uh what what, what else do we have uh, automatically increase length does this do much all right anyways length pixels i i'm not seeing where all right number of you could configure the number of rows the border width um, I thought there was something to make it so it doesn't extend to the edge of the screen. Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, that was one of the things. All right, dark mode. This should be dark mode already. It's using the theme. All right. It's matching the theme. All right. Use the system style. Solid color. All right. I'm, I'm not going to mess around with that. You can adjust the opacity, stuff like that. All right. I'm not going to mess around with the panel anymore. I, I think we just had an internet blip here. Um, anyways, yeah, icon, font, and so on. All right, that, that's about all I wanted to show you with that. Let's kill these for the, for the moment and just check the wallpaper. It's, it's nothing too exciting. Simple XFCE wallpaper, some of them that have been around forever. So if you go to desktop settings here, um, you can actually change menus, icons, and other stuff. But right here, background, you can change the wallpaper to something. This is actually looks pretty nice. Um, it's a little different. Um, simple. I, this looks like a traditional XFC. I think this one is the one that's been around for years. I don't know if this is the same or, or just looks the same as the old one that's been around for many, many years, the last 15 years or so, or however long it's been. But there's a lot of interesting desktop wallpaper. I mean, nothing crazy. You could get more if you want, but uh, which I would. I, I would get tired of these simple wallpapers. But there you go. There's the wallpaper on X Garuda Linux XFCE. It's basically a standard, um, lightweight, fast, simple uh, XFCE desktop based on in an Arch-based system. So this is what you get with, uh, you know, Garuda Linux XFCE edition. Now, I wanted to point out that this also comes with a collection of Garuda Linux specific tools and utilities. I cover these in, um, well, let's take a look here. We, we have, I'm not going to go into detail on these right now. We have like Setup Assistant, Garuda Rani, Garuda Network Assistant, and Maintenance Settings, and a bunch of other things. A bunch of Garuda Linux specific tools and utilities, like this is Garuda Rani. It lets you um, do maintenance on your system, like updating the system, clearing the cache, clear orphans, that kind of stuff, refresh mirrors, um, some gaming settings, diagnostics, tools. Um, you can install software, all sorts of great stuff you can do here. But I, I cover this in a separate video. So um, I cover all of these Garuda Linux specific tools in my separate. I have a in my main Garuda Linux video where I talk about all the different uh, Garuda Linux editions and Garuda Linux in general and you know what sets this distro apart. Um, you're going to want to check out my main general Garuda Linux video. I'm going to cover all these tools and all of the different editions all in one video. And I'm also doing like individual videos for each uh, each edition, which is what this is. So this this is my video specifically about XFCE, and I did it with most of the other editions. But then I have one big video with everything all in one video. And then I go over all the tools and give you like an intro to what Garuda Linux is and stuff like that. So you should definitely check that video out. 
So uh, yeah, definitely check those videos out, especially the main one. I have them, I should have them linked in the description of this video, but also I have a playlist with all my Garuda Linux videos. I should have that also, so you might wanna check the playlist out. But that is it for today. So remember to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys on that next video.